in spite of its name, the Lakes District in Otago is very dry in places. Uh, this is footage from the end of the summer and you can see a thousand shades of uh, gold and beige. Um, but there is this little oasis, uh, a little wetland that is fed from springs further up the valley. Uh, the new owner is keen to protect and maintain this wetland and so our uh, project is to install a couple of monitoring wells at the top and the bottom of uh, the wetland um, to monitor the water levels uh, in the long term. Because we're going to leave that in the bottom of the hole. Um, so that slips on the bottom Yep. and then the whole casing gets drilled uh, down as far as we can go, um, ultimately up to about 10 metres, but today we're going to do about three or four. Um, and then when this casing gets extracted, the cone will pop off and it will stay at the bottom of the, the hole. I'm going to put that in place over here. I can practically spear this in the ground. We may not even need a drill at this stage. What I'll do, that can come out, and that can lift that straight out of the top. That's so loose, I think we're just going to pull the remainder out. If we've attracted some water. There it is. Turn the pump on. Uh, I need to put it in the right direction, so that's now sucking away, pumping away, and that should, I'm just going to leave this on slowly because it will uh, draw, uh, it might take a moment or two, there it comes, and that's quite dirty looking water at the moment, so obviously a brand new well installed, we've really disturbed things, we've made uh, made a quite a, a, a brutal impact into the ground at this point, um, but after a while, after some stability over a few days or weeks, uh, that will settle down and we'll get a, uh, a clearer sample with any luck. It's sort of clearing out already, isn't it? Just this last bit of footage to show how little impact we made that morning. Uh, you can see there are very few signs of us having been there other than the monitoring well uh, poking out of the grasses.